and Ingo Academy. If the fire alarm should sound, please proceed to the nearest exit located at the left and right front and rear of the theater. Please take a moment to power down electronic devices as they are distracting performers and other members of tonight's audience. Thank you for familiarizing yourself with the concert etiquette information located at the back cover of your program. Enjoy the performance. Good evening, everyone. My name is Greg Kane, and I am one of the music teachers here at Camdenango Academy. It is a real honor to be standing in front of you all here tonight to celebrate the 25th birthday of the Camdenango Academy Holiday Presentation. So our, our prison concert, I think it's a real special landmark for our community and certainly for our CA musicians as well. Tonight is the first night we're back in here all together as one since December 2019 and I think you guys are in for a real treat tonight. So the music that we have prepared for our large ensembles was largely picked out by the music teachers, but what's really neat about this concert is there's a lot of small transitional elements. That music was largely picked out by the students who are going to be performing it. They had to audition to earn these spots, and it's a real awesome honor for them to do so. Um, we have, uh, you know, tonight you're going to hear music that's, I hope, going to make you feel joyful. I hope it's going to cause us to feel a real positive sense of community in this space, not only amongst you, but amongst our students as well. I know you're going to have a couple of really nice laughs this evening. And of course, um, I just know that you're going to be overwhelmed with the warmth and love from 250 Canada Academy musicians and technical assistants tonight. <laughs> So preparing, preparing this concert is a pretty big undertaking, and as with any event here at CA, it happens because of incredible teamwork. And um, I really want to take a moment before we get going to acknowledge some people who are very important. First, I want to, I want to recognize my music colleagues here at the Academy. Diana Chase, Haley Moore, and Sean Perry. Every single day, these folks come to work and work with our students. They bring a tireless love and passion for music education, and uh, just a tireless love for students in general. So thank you to those music teachers. For all of their I'd also like to thank the teachers of Canada Academy, our administrators, and I want to give a special shout out to our athletic department as well. This concert comes at a very busy time of year. We interrupt the school day to take the kids out and prepare for this. We have a concert again on Thursday in school. Athletics cleared the, the, cleared the calendar to make life easy for students tonight, so huge thanks to all of those people for, for giving kids an opportunity to be successful in this way tonight in here together. So thank you so much. For And lastly, I want to thank um, all of the adults who are working behind the scenes tonight. We have a tremendous number of volunteers, as you could see when you walked in tonight, scanning tickets and stuff. And then, of course, um, running all of the brains up in the booth is my friend and our theater director, Mr. Matt Rogers, and his incredible team tonight, Kurt Knobloch, Angela Hurlbut, and Jerry Smith. Thank you so much to all of you for making this amazing experience for kids. Okay, so if this is your first time attending a PRISM concert, I need to give you a little heads up because audience participation, it works a little bit different in a PRISM concert. The music you're gonna hear tonight is gonna, once it starts, it's never gonna stop. We're gonna flow all the way from the first note to the last note without any interruptions, okay? It's just gonna flow from one tune to the next. We have purposefully put different styles of music right next to each other, different locations in the hall, and I know some of that stuff will be very exciting. There'll be sudden changes, I warn you. Um, and with this all in mind, I wanna ask everybody to try and not clap, do your best. Try not to clap until the very, very, very end. Let's experience this entire performance as one giant piece of art, okay? So look, last spring when the Academy of Music Teachers started to plan for this school year, we said, this thing's turning 25. What should we do to make it special for kids and for all of, all of you, our community? And we, uh, about the same time, our school district had started something called the Visual and Performing Arts Hall of Fame. We had our inaugural induction uh, over homecoming weekend. And amongst the original inductees was a former band director, music teacher, lead teacher, and a heck of a nice guy, Mr. Tom Davis. He was one of the inductees. 
Uh, I appreciate him. He hired me. He was the, he's the reason why I'm here. <laughs> so uh, we called up Tom and we said, hey, what do you say you write a piece? I forgot to mention, he's also like a nationally renowned composer who lives right here in Canada. I said, what do you say you write a piece for our students here to help kick this concert off this year? And he said, that sounds great. Which ensemble do you want me to write for? And I said, well, all of them, all at the same time. And he certainly didn't disappoint. He delivered a really breathtaking composition that has a tremendous number of highs and lows and huge fanfares and exciting moments. And you're going to hear it in about three minutes once I get off the microphone here. But um, I want to want to take him out here for a second and introduce him to you all and recognize him for a quick moment. So please welcome to the stage, Mr. Tom Davis. So at the first performance tonight, we recognized Mr. Davis as, with a little small gift. The 25th anniversary is known as the silver anniversary. So we gave him a little silver box, right? It was filled with silver coins. That was actually chocolate. Um, and, um, you know, music teachers were not going to afford real soon. So um, I thought to myself, what could we possibly present to Mr. Davis here as a little small token of our thanks? And it occurred to me all at once. It's a jingle bell. That's right. This is the jingle bell from, this is a silver jingle bell from the Polar Express. Now, for those of you in, that's right. This is the actual, Tom Hanks sent it to us himself. Now, for those of you who understand, you know this bell sounds amazing. Huh? Yeah, some of you hear it. So we're going to present this to Mr. Davis as a thanks for all he has done for our students in school. But seriously, on a more serious note, I want to thank Tom for being Tom. Um, I've known him for quite a long time, for 17 years here, and uh, to have him back and work with our students has been a really incredible experience. It's been a reminder to me um, why we do what we do every single day. And he came in to work with the students on the first uh, rehearsal, and he had so much fun after that. I looked at him and I said, geez, do you want to come back for the concert and conduct? And he says, geez, yeah, I think I might want to do that. And he's here tonight with us um, to do that. So. His time as an educator here is living on in an experience just like this. He was one of the first teachers to start this prison concert 25 years ago, and it's been a real special moment and occasion for thousands of Canandaigua uh, students and community members just like yourself. So, Mr. Davis, thank you so much for not only sort of birthing all of this prison concert stuff, but also for just all your energy and love that you've shared with our students. So Tom's going to take the podium, and I've got one more little small announcement here, so we'll let him up there. Okay, here we go. Ready? Here we go. Mr. Davis. Now, I'm so sorry. Like, two more announcements here quickly. Unfortunately, and if we've learned anything in the last couple years, it's to be flexible. Um, there's a small adjustment we need to make in tonight's program due to an unfortunate student illness. About two-thirds of the way through the program, it's listed that there'll be a performance of White Christmas, which will unfortunately not be happening tonight. We're going to replace it with a medley of Old Lang Syne and Ashokan Farewell, and this will be performed by two Academy seniors, uh, Neil Stringer and Carly Stevens. And truth be told, these students learned about this like 26 hours ago, and I'm so proud of them for kind of putting this together at just the last minute. So the last thing about that, um, that transition, we're doing so many cool things tonight. It's the 25th anniversary. We've got a brand new piece of music we're about to perform for the second time ever. I want to try something else if you're up for it. Okay, there we go. More energy. The 830 crowd's always better than the 630 crowd. Okay, here's the deal. They're going to sing Old Lang Syne. Carly's going to be out here. And then after her second, or after her first verse, she's going to invite you all to join her. We can all sing it on Lou. Lou, 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 Lou. You know the tune, okay? It'll be a really beautiful moment. We'll all share in that together, okay? Tonight's performance should last about 60 minutes. And as a reminder, try and hold your applause till the end. Thank you so much for being here tonight, supporting all of our music events throughout the school year. And on behalf of the Canandaigua City School District, have the happiest of holidays. And Mr. Davis, away we go.
silence now as you gather around softly now for a moment to
Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mom in her kerchief and me in my cap had just settled our brains for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, or opened the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave a luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eyes did appear but a miniature sleigh and a tiny reindeer? With a little old driver, so lively and quick, I knew in a moment he must be Saint Nick. More rapid than eagles, his coursers they came. He whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, and Prancer, and Vixen. Comet on Cupid, on Donner, and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all! As leaves before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle mount to the sky. So up to the housetop the coursers they flew, with a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed in all fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back. He looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes how they twinkled. His dimples how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a round little belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk and laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, 
Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. Tell the angel story. Maccabeans 
went to battle, now we praise their glory. Candles flashing in the night, tapers gleaming, diamond bright, golden arabesque of light. Why not? And don't worry, it'll be so unique, fantabulous, amazing. I got this, all right? It might be a little late for a prison concert audition. Well, it's, who cares? <laughs> Let's do it again, please. Yeah, <laughs> thank you.
table 